After months and months of waiting, we have finally arrived to the 2024 outdoor track and field season. This is the Olympic year, everyone, so the best in the world are finally gearing up for the Olympic trials and, of course, the Summer Olympics in Paris, France. Now, this indoor season was quite the strong one, with various world records falling and new talents emerging from all over the globe. And even though the outdoor season literally just started, we have already seen some awesome performances. So grab your popcorn, get comfortable, and sit back and relax as we take a look at the madness that was the opening day. In the 2024 Hurricane Invitational, we saw Fred Curley open his season with a 100-meter clocking of 10.03 seconds. This was an amazing start for Fred Curley, who is of course the 2022 world champion over this distance. However, we also saw various other great performances. We saw the defending champion over the 400 meters, Stephen Gardner from the Bahamas, make his 2024 season debut running in the 300 meters. And for this race, he clocked a time of 31.99 seconds. This was also a solid start because he actually hasn't raced since his injury in last year's world championships. Lastly, over in the roads in Spain, we saw Yomif Kajelcha battle it out with Joshua Cheptegei over the 10k distance, with Kajelcha absolutely throwing down in this competition, winning with a huge clocking of 26 minutes and 37 seconds, which is actually only 13 seconds away from Ronix Capruto's world record of 26.24. As the Paris Olympic Games rapidly approach, we are entering a very special time that only comes once every four years. And speaking of a special moment, another event that showcased something quite unique is the 100 meter distance. In the 2024 Southern Florida Bulls Alumni Invite, we got a chance to see many great athletes at the track. At this meet, we had various collegiate programs competing from Ohio State, Michigan, Kentucky, and the University of Iowa. And over in the men's 100 meters, we saw Kalen Walker absolutely walk a world-class field. Now, Kalen Walker has been quickly making a name for himself as one of the best power sprinters in the nation. For his indoor season, he lowered his PB all the way down to 6.51 seconds, which was actually ranked third in the nation behind two of the Texas Tech greats. And when we take a closer look at the top five collegiate performances this year, he actually had two of these times as he ran 6.51 twice. Walker's amazingly quick starts and incredible power have led to great performances, and at 6.51, he actually managed to crack into the top 10 in the world this season. But how would this amazing starting abilities translate into the outdoor circuit for Walker's very first 100 meter dash of 2024? After a fair start, Walker immediately threw down the hammer with a super quick opening 60 meters. And while there wasn't a 60 meter interval split here, I'm sure he got close to his personal best because this man was flying. This wasn't exactly a surprise given his indoor performances, but just look at the gap that he opened up for this first half. And over the final 50, he held his form quite nicely and came away with a new school record performance of 10.09 seconds. This time took down a very strong field for many big programs across the nation. And when you look at just how fast Walker has been improving over the past two years, it seems almost inevitable that he will soon be under 10 seconds in 2024. At the moment, this time currently ranks Walker as the fastest 100 meter athlete in the NCAA right now. And amazingly, it also ties him at number one in the world with Tamir Burnett from the Netherlands. And while 10.09 is quite the quick clocking over the 100, it's important to remember that we are still in the early stages of the outdoor season for 2024. So it's very likely that someone will run faster over the following few weeks. But for now, this 10.09 was a great start for Walker and a sub-10 really does seem possible in 2024. When it comes to a typical NCAA campaign, usually around 5 to 10 athletes have the ability to break 10 seconds under legal conditions for the 100. Right now, there are a handful of great sprinters in the collegiate ranks with massive potential over the 100. There's of course Terrence Jones from Texas Tech, Robert Gregory from Florida, and also Godson Aginabrume from LSU, whose PR currently stands at 9.90. But at this point, I think we need to add Kalen Walker to this list of greats in the collegiate rankings. So keep your eyes on him as 2024 unfolds. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time.